Alright everybody, hello, Gainsby here. Welcome back to Elite Dangerous, the Chronicles of Gainsby. So we just picked up some beer. We're going to go on a beer run here. Um, we just have to go to uh, the MacArthur Terminal in the LT18486 system. Let's go ahead and open up the galaxy map here. Uh... We're at the system we need to be in, so that's good. So we just need to look for the MacArthur station. The MacArthur terminal. Let's see if we can um, see if we can find that here. Lots of stuff. Oh my God, Dalton Gateway. All right, so I think this obviously is where we. Oh no! Where's the MacArthur Station? Uh, MacArthur Terminal. through everything slowly. Okay, let me see if there's any more info on this here. Dalton Gateway. Convey the goods to MacArthur Terminal in the LTT-18486 system. Destination Dalton Gateway. That's the pickup, starport, drop off, MacArthur Terminal, outpost. What the heck? Where's the MacArthur Terminal outpost? Oh well, it says I need to go here, so... Exploration data to buy. Okay, well, let's go and uh, hope for the best. I just spent three minutes going through menus. All right. Hopefully this, hopefully this goes smoothly. I don't want to get attacked and killed and all that good stuff. Login complement engaged. Take care with the station. Talking beam access is by direction. We do have something on radar here. Oof. I think we're heavy. I think we're heavy, peeps. Heavy with cargo. Let's power the engines here. with cargo.
see if we can find this terminal now. There it is. This ain't so bad. We got this. So I, I don't know what that was. I was in the correct place, I think. Or maybe I wasn't. We'll be cruising in system for a while. Please feel free to take advantage of our in-flight entertainment. It's a cruise ship. But once again, I don't know if that's a player or an NPC. I just imagine, or assume rather, that it's an NPC. Our light is on. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn that off. Our headlight. Headlights. Just kind of keep it sort of uh, as quiet as possible here. Since I do have cargo... I would potentially be a juicy target for any crazy players who are wanting to steal some cargo. But I am, I don't know where I'm at as far as like where the newbie sector is. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm probably still pretty close to that. I don't I don't really know what I'm talking about, but yeah, we'll just keep the light off for now. We'll just be uh feeling a little bit safer with the light off. Okay, uh, obviously the uh cruise ship or whatever it is wants to direct our attention to the flight attendant. We're not going to do that. This is going to be a little bit of a flight, guys. We're going to let it go. Because this is the Chronicles of Gainsby, I don't want to cut things out like I did really in the last episode. That light up there is another ship, I think, with their headlight on. I think that's what I'm seeing. Or it's just, that's how bright ships are. Hopefully that feel of the ship right now, it does feel heavy. And I'm hoping that it's just the cargo that I have on board, because I also did buy a bigger cargo hold, uh, bigger shields, and bigger armor. So hopefully that's just the feeling of the cargo and not the new stuff that I actually put on there. Because I noticed we did lose a little bit of engine speed. But it wasn't much, it was just a couple units. I do really like the look of the ship. I actually like the customization. So you can purchase only cosmetical stuff in this game. And the cosmetics for the ship did look awesome. But of course we'll wait until we can get uh, one of the uh, better PvP style ships just so we can defend ourselves against players if that time ever comes. Right now we'd be pretty defenseless. I'm sure we'd get get rocked pretty hard if we encountered another player. Aside from quite a few things to still learn, I think that this is pretty much the meat of the game as far as making money and doing missions and gathering reputation goes. So I'm not saying that this is all by any means, I'm just saying that this is probably a very large chunk of the gameplay that's that's available. But it's really about to change, you know, with the update early next year. And I haven't even got, I haven't done any mining. There's, there's quite a bit to this game. And I've only really scratched the surface of all the different things you can do. But I do actually like being a courier and doing this little delivery stuff in my little ship here. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. 
gives me things to do in my in my starfight other than just combat, which is what I was planning. I thought I was just going to be doing like hunting missions and combat the whole time. But this is a nice little change. We can just kind of go, load it up, bring cargo, or just do those courier missions where they automatically give us like just some data. Wow, I spelled MacArthur wrong, didn't I? It's MacArthur. MacArthur Terminal. Let's see what's going on over here. There's like a planet. Oh, there's some mining going on over there. There's a resource extraction site. Unidentified signal source. So that's probably like a maybe some player mining or an NPC mining. Quite a few unidentified signal sources over there. There's some stuff going on, I'm sure. I'm sure one day I'll try mining. Probably really good money if you get a big cargo hold and stuff like that. A lot of stuff going on around here. Including a ship that just whizzed past us or something. Did you hear that? I see, I see it on the radar off to the right too. I think we made it without any trouble. land us because I wouldn't know how without it but that's okay <laughs> Another successful mission. We'll see what's here too while we're here. Check it out. Maybe they have some better laser cannons. Yes. I just bought money right now. Cool. Internal security data delivery. Deliver data to the Faraday orbital and the GD215 system. Cool. Let's see where that is. GD215. That's there. This is one of those trick systems that we can't... Oh, we can plot a route there. Okay, let's uh, select that. We'll pick up this mission then. I accept. And let's see what's here. Oh, they don't have any things. There's just like advanced maintenance. Which, what? what is that? Fuel store. I see, okay. All right, so we can already just head out. There's nothing to do here. Let me see what, what's up with these uh, 
contacts. I don't know. All right, let's go. Let's roll out. We've already got our uh, course plotted. Let's go lights off. I don't even know if that does anything, really. Feels better again without the cargo. What? Oh, it's too far. Okay, so let's jump here then. Where am I? Right there? Yeah. Yeah, we'll jump there. We'll just have to refuel along the way. See if we can go here. Yes. Frigaha is the name of this planet or uh, system. So we should be able to actually jump to the next spot now. Cause we're literally right there. I don't I guess it's too far of a jump from where we were, but from here it should be fine, I assume. I assume. Discovering some stuff here. Wait, is that right? GD215? That doesn't say GD215. What's going on here? Well, it is GD215 though, so let's... Let's go! Yeah, we're fine. We can jump there from here.
Faraday Orbital. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yes. That's so bright. I wonder what that is. Like a quasar or something? <laughs> I don't know. I'm hearing some crazy stuff though. A little scary. Must have been like a... Some sort of... Gravity well or something, because that was like... Really pulling us. Okay, now we're making some. Now we're moving. This is 327,000 light years away, but. But. Gosh. Are we gonna be able to get there? We can get there. We'll be fine. I don't think we'll be fine. Why is this so far? Alright, hold up. Is there a closer space station or something? No. There's not. This is still closer than that journey I went on yesterday. cruising here for a while. Six per hour fuel units. I don't know what that means, but since we're under an hour to get there now, I believe we'll just we'll have enough fuel. It's just going to be a long flight. These are the Chronicles of Gainsby. I don't know if I should like stop it. We are pleased to inform you that your reputation status with Econier Legal Inc. has been raised to cordial. You should keep completing successful operations with us to enhance your reputation further. Awesome. Promotion to Peddler. Cool. I got promoted. I'm a peddler now. I should just read all these to get them off of my head. Mostly harmless. Okay, that's everything. What's going on here? Uh, 
So yeah, this is what we're doing. <laughs> so this is Elite Dangerous, guys. Uh, I'll probably do a little cut here so you don't have to watch all this. Maybe. I don't know. I, I really want to just show it all. But I feel like most people would just kind of fast forward through this anyways because you can. That's fine. That's fine. But if maybe someone doesn't have the game and they want to experience this, they can in this video. And there's really nothing to it, but maybe you just like the feeling of being out in space out here like this. I know I kind of do. It's desolate, it's a little bit lonely, but at least we're going somewhere. There's nothing out here. I think we're making good time. I don't think we'll run out of gas. Two new contacts. So I guess you can go in here and you can look at who's around. And it looks like I actually don't see a time. Uh, but 10.56, we saw Commander Sid Dracovich. have a lot to play with on that. We're getting very close now to our location. I'm excited. That was a really, that was a decent flight right there. It's like driving to your grandparents' house, but in space. Alright, Super Cruise, hopefully you're Bringing us down to a good speed. We are far out here, too. Like we're gonna have to go back at some point. We are out here. Okay, let's hand in this mission. Let's see what stuff they have to offer us. We got a pretty decent amount of credits now. Maybe we can take. Um... Well, I don't really want any of this stuff. I mean, a grade one rarity is that good? I don't know. I just want monies.
We'll soon put an end to this lockdown with my help. With my help? Sweet. Alright, we're not going to take any more missions right now, but there's a lot of available missions at this station, which is cool. Uh, and this is... this is... Look at this. This is some good credits. I don't know. We need 30 units of reactive armor. Whoa. We'll investigate that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. Wait a minute, there's outfitting here? Hold up. Let's see what kind of weapons these, these people have got. Let's see what kind of weapons we've got up in here. Come on, trip. We might as well make it worth it. Maybe they got something good. Multi cannon, hold up. I would prefer pulse lasers because they don't have ammo. You can just shoot those things, they just take energy. Whereas these will have a clip side, we have to stop and re clip sides, we have to stop and reload. So we'll pass on that. Unless there's like something crazy with like rail guns or something. Oh, those also have ammo. Powerful though. Missiles. Jeez, look at all this stuff, guys. This is awesome. It's awesome. Alright, so nothing here that I want. I just kind of want to stick with the pulse lasers. And... Ironically, I think I do have two non-gimbaled pulse lasers available, but... We're good for now. We're going to go ahead and conclude this episode. We'll pick it up in this station in our next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Y'all have a great time.